<laughs> Just getting all my makeup ready here. Hi guys. Saludos. Hi guys, saludos a todos. I am just getting all my makeup in order here. Estoy acomodando todo mi maquillaje porque ahora voy a hacer un tutorial para, para mis bailarinas. I'm going to do a tutorial for, for all of my dancers on how to do their makeup. ¿Cómo están todos? Hi guys, how's everybody? I hope you guys are doing awesome. Espero que todos estén bien. Ya hace mucho que, que, que no estamos aquí. It's been a long time since I've been on here. A lot has happened. I've been so busy. Ha estado bien ocupada. Mucho, mucho, mucho ha pasado desde la última vez que estuve aquí en vivo en, en mientras estoy esperando para todas mis muchachas my dancers uh, que se ponga se puedan conectar well i'm going to wait just a little bit to see um if some of my dancers connect um uh yeah it's been busy it's been crazy saludos a todos hi everybody hi hi atena Yes, I'm just going to give it a few minutes, make sure we have, um, you know, a lot of those ladies joining us today. So we have to wait a little bit for these señoritas que, que nos van a acompañar ahora para, para ver el maquillaje del grupo. So, it's, yeah, I've, it's been crazy busy, guys. I'm so sorry that I haven't been on live. You know, mil disculpas por no no poder estar live. Um, ya, uh, ya no me acuerdo hace como tres semanas. Parece I've been um, I had to do a baby shower planning. Tuve planeando un baby shower para mi uh, para otro otro baby otra sobrina que viene en camino. Um, I have a niece on the way. Y ahorita estoy ayudando a mi hermano, otro, otro hermano, a coordinar su boda. I'm helping to coordinate a, um, a wedding for my brother. Just, you know, just a little, thi little things. But lo, lo, más, lo más grande, pues, no de noticias, uh, the biggest news is that Nea Arts, el grupo de baile folclórico, ya estamos por hacer la primera pre presentación. We're going to be at Knott's, guys. We're going to be at Knott's it's Saturday, July. I believe, let's see. Sí, de esta manera está mejor para, I, uh, ojalá que no se corte. I sure hope it doesn't. I hope, I hope I still have you guys. Um, tuve que quitar el, el Wi-Fi para, para ver si no, no tengo problemas. Okay, so let's see. We're going to go ahead and start. Yes, uh, como les estaba diciendo, no soy experta en maquillaje. I am not an expert in makeup. Um, lo que lo que quiero es ese, enseñar a todas mis bailarinas cómo, cómo se maquilla el o sea tenemos cierta manera de maquillarnos en el grupo que sea algo uniforme limpio bonito um, we have a certain way that I want the, all the dancers to do their makeup I like it uniform I like it you know uh, to, I want them to look pretty and 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 just just something simple you know nothing too crazy on the face it's something to just kind of heighten and highlight you know they're already beautiful face um so we're gonna start guys and i hope that i hope that most of you guys are there vamos a empezar espero que espero que estén allí um lo que tuve que hacer es quitar mi teléfono este del de la, del wi-fi i had to take my phone off the wi-fi just to use my data so um, I guess there was a little bit of connectivity problems, but lo que voy a empezar is going to foundation. I start with foundation. Okay, ladies. So if you have your foundation, that's what we start with. And I, I just like to put a small amount on my hand. I like to be able to feel and touch everything that I'm putting on my face. I know a lot of people use sponges. So, um, just know that there's different techniques. There's different ways for you to 
um, to apply the makeup, to, you know, using the sponges, which I do after just to rub it on. But I like to kind of get it everywhere. Like if I was going to do um, like a face cream. And I have my mirror here. So, so I like to kind of spread it everywhere. And then I'll grab my sponge after I spread it and kind of like make sure that I have it really, really, really spread evenly and everywhere. I like to put my foundation everywhere. Like I said, I'm not an expert. This is how I've been doing it. And I do my neckline too, cause I don't like, um, you know, the makeup line right here. So I extend the foundation. Um, and later on my powder as well, I extend it all the way to my neck, my ears. Cause that looks funny too. If you have your makeup here and then you don't kind of blend it in to your ears. So, so that's the foundation. Okay. I'm not going to get way, way too detailed. So if, if there's something that's not blended right, I'm going to try to go kind of fast. So, so we can get through all the steps. So foundation. Okay. Um, and then I like to do my powder next. So you guys can use a, a brush. Uh, you can use a sponge. I like to use a sponge. I least um, I use my brushes later and then you want to use a pressed powder. I have different, this is like a highlighter kit and um, you can use a regular pressed powder. It doesn't have to be this, it's just whatever, whatever is close and match to your face color and you want to kinda, I like to, and the reason that I ask you guys to put the pressed powder is because we sweat, you know, while we're dancing So this helps to kind of lock in place the, um, you know, the makeup and to kind of help for when you do sweat, you're not like dripping <laughs> makeup anywhere all over your, your clothes, your vestuario. Um, so just add the pressed powder everywhere. Same thing. I extend it down to my neck. Um, I'm going to do a really light right now, but when you're doing theater shows, shows where there's lighting uh we want to add we want to add um everything on really really heavy since usually our audience is farther away okay so ya puse ya me puse el líquido ya me puse el polvo y estaba diciendo que pongo el polvo después del líquido nomás porque como estamos bailando si no ponemos el polvo para que Uh, porque estamos sudando mucho, luego empieza a correr el maquillaje. No, 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 eso no es bueno. Así dura un poquito más. Um, de esta forma, um, debería de, de, el maquillaje que uno se pone, se debería de estar todo el día. O sea, puede, ten, pues debe aguantar como unas 6, 7, 8 horas. Uh, yo empiezo la mañana y si estoy fuera de la casa todo el día, perfecto. No, o, no más me, a veces tengo que aplicar el, el rojo, el, el, el lip liner. And, and that's it. Um, a veces no más, you know, agarro la esponja uh, y pongo más polvo. Si estoy sudando mucho, que, que sí, sudo mucho. So, um, so the next thing I like to do, you guys have your foundation on first, pressed powder. Um, I like to do my eyebrows. So we want to do an eye, eye uh, brow pencil. And then I like to use a brow pencil and use the brush too. And for this one, I'm going to look in the mirror because... Um, we want to start the start, start the brow at the corner of the eye. We want to kind of draw it up, and right here, we're gonna extend and bring it above. Like my brows, I I barely have any brows anymore just because of because of age. Because I'm so old, all my eyebrows are falling off. But <laughs> I used to have I used to have more brows. But anyways, what uh, what I was taught when I with one of my uh, dance teachers when I you know when I was in dance company is I would make a little dot where I wanted to start. I'd make a dot where you want the high arch of the brow to go, and then you make a dot kind of where you're gonna end, and you want to kind of bring it a little bit longer because you really want the eyebrows kind of to you know pop out they're going to frame your face and for pictures and everything it just looks beautiful to have like a, a defined brow so i'm going to do my brows right here i'm just going to really really quick i'm going to outline and 
and I don't like big, big, heavy brows. Um, you know, it's a preference. Some people like really thick, thick brows. I don't. So, but I do start with a line and then I'm going to uh, like, this is not how I'm going to end up. So if you're there and you're practicing, go ahead and do your brows, do the best you can and just keep up with me. You can always go back and finish up uh, your brows later. So I'm going to start, I start with a line kind of where I want my brows, the shape that I want, where I want and how, you know, where to start, where to end. And I end up with two lines, but that's, like I said, I'm, I haven't started blending anything yet. That's just, I'm trying to see where, how high. Okay, so that one, see, I kind of added, I wanted it to go a little higher, and then I want it to come in a little bit. So you're not going to follow your natural brow line if, you know, because nobody has nobody has perfect eyebrows you know unless you're going to get them threaded like every every day so once i have the lines and i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and i like to kind of go now shape and i'll go in the mirror because i don't want to i don't want to mess <laughs> mess them up so we're gonna use the brow we're gonna use the brush now to kind of spread the brow liner kind of everywhere give it a shape give it more fullness um as you see I'm, I'm thickening it up yeah so the brow for me it's the hardest uh, you know it, it was the hardest and it still is the hardest to get because sometimes I get them like the first time I get my brows right and sometimes I have to clean them up and redo them um it's it's for me it's the hardest part you know to to get them just how I want them. And that's with me doing them, you know, for years and years. So if you can see the lighting's really bad in here, but I gotta do the other brow now. So if I was doing a theater show, see what I'm using right now is a black brown, but if I was doing a theater show, then I would go to a black. And um, that way, like from really far away, everybody can see, see, um, even your eyebrows, you know, and people take pictures from far away, people take videos, you know, from, from where they're sitting. So you want to have your full face and not all your makeup. And then you have like no eyebrows. So eyebrows are super important. They're really, really important. I would say they're one of the most important things that you're going to do on your face. A lot of, a lot of, uh, you know, girls in, um, folklorico, I've seen they don't do their brows and you know it's it's a preference but I do like all of my dancers to have brows and even the little ones even the the itty bitty ones I always just adding that little bit of brow pencil really 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 makes a big difference so there we go and they're not today's not I'm gonna say I'm not gonna redo them I'm just I'm gonna do my best right now but Usually I take way more time on my brows to get them exactly how I want, but okay. See, they're still, I don't know if it's the lighting in here. I have to switch it around. It's not, they're not looking, they look different on the, they look different in my mirror than when I look at, at the phone and it's like, anyways, you can see I have like some brown now, right? Okay. So hopefully you guys are almost done with your brows over there. I think the light right now is washing out my my eyebrows is what's happening sorry guys but if i don't have the light right here too you can't you can't see any of my face but hopefully hopefully you can see my brows right <laughs> hopefully you guys can see them <laughs> uh, one side looks more washed out but i think that's the lighting i have more light coming from this side than that side so there we go so i have one and this one needs a little, little more. Okay, well, like I said, I would take more time with this, but we are on live and you can always go back and fix your brows after. So after I do my brows, ya que acabo con, con las cejas, um, I do my, um, where is, oh, that's one thing I forgot to pull. I do my primer 
and this is the primer I like to use. It's e.l.f. makeup, so I get it at Target, and it used to be about $2. I think it went up to about $3, but the reason that you want to use your primer is another is so that it lasts you all day you don't want to be touching up and and redoing your makeup in between um sets and and be you know bef like you might get to your location and have your makeup done and then the eyeshadow doesn't look as bright as it did then you have to touch up um then you might dance a few songs and then you're like wow i can't even see my shadow and you might have to touch up again um you might finish the show and then be like oh i can't even see my shadow i finished the show because now we're going to take pictures and then you'd have to touch up so to avoid having to touch up you you know the primer is the best thing so you add all along and i go all the way to the top of my my eyebrow and all the way into the corner and all the way out, extend it out, because we're gonna bring that eyeshadow out. Okay, so all over your eyeshadow, I mean your eyelid, all the way up to the line where you, you put in your eyebrow, and then into the corner of the eye, up, and over here to make like a little, kind of like a little um, triangle. Um, edge like if you were to go like this out of the corner of your eye that's how you want to extend the primer because all the eyeshadow is going to go there and then you're going to do the other eye okay so we're going to add our primer if you don't have your primer yet um you should you know go get it because um there is a big difference in how the color goes on it goes on a lot more true once you have your primer and it does last last a whole lot longer once you have that on and like i said you want to bring it all the way up to the to the brow line there you go so that's that's the primer okay so there you go two primed eyes two eyebrows we have our foundation we have our pressed powder uh, the brows like I said um, I still need to bring this one in a little bit um, and I need to go darker right here but I'm not gonna I could fix my uh, eyebrows later I just want to get through all the steps with you guys so for eyeshadow like I said, not an expert. I want to reiterate that. I don't want comments later saying that I'm a professional uh, makeup artist and that's not how you do it. Well, this is how I do it. This, you know, there's tons of techniques out there. You guys find what works for you. I like to use um, brushes for my eyeshadow. I use one for each color. So these are my two favorite brushes for the two main colors. Um, I have my blending brush and I'll bring them out again as I'm using it. This is the one I blend. I love this one to blend with. Um, so I have a, two colors, the light color, the medium color, and then for the dark color, I use a smaller brush so I can control it better and not get it all over my eyes. So this is three, three brushes I use for three colors. Um, and then for, I have some other brushes and I'll pull these out too because one I'll use under my eye um and like this one's my the one that i use for my blush so like i said there's lots of brushes like this is a blush brush but i don't like to use that one i like to use this one it just depends you have to kind of play around with your brushes so you find the ones that work better for your eyes for your face uh, because even though it's like say there's one that's a contour brush but your eyes are really small or a lot bigger maybe you don't like the way that goes but anyways okay so i start with my brush and this is our palette Guys, so if you're there, ladies, okay, I'm using the palette that you have, that we all have. I have the same palette, and we're going to start with the light one, okay? So you're going to get the, the lightest color, and I like to go all the way up, and I got to look in my mirror. Here we go. All the way up along the lash, and we're going to go in the corner. I'm going to go and get some more bring it all we're gonna use uh we're gonna use like um i don't know if you guys seen those videos the, the you know the actual makeup artists they do the light to dark light and then they go gradually till it gets dark so we're gonna use that method instead of going horizontally we're gonna go vertically so we're gonna do the light here when then the darkest one's gonna end up on the outside just so you know so we're gonna like i said add add go ahead and add all at, along the top it's like a this is just to highlight your 
eyebrow bone, kind of open up your eyes, make them nice and open looking. And then inside, you just want to kind of, okay, because all of the movement is just going to be vertical. So we're going to do the light color inside, and I'm going to make sure I get, look in the mirror here and make sure I get it all inside there. Okay, so if you did in the corner, the lightest one, so we're going to go, now we're going to go with, we have this one, now we're going to go with this one right here uh this one right here okay so it's like a brick ready like a reddish it's like a copper this is we're gonna put this one on top after the actual shimmery copper but we're gonna use this one right here so we're gonna use this one and then the dark one okay so i'm using a different brush i'm using a different brush for a different color this is the light one i have the dark the next the medium one and we're gonna go the same i'm gonna we're gonna go like this just straight down and you don't want to go all the way up because you have that color that highlight color up on top but you do want to go all the way down to make sure you um, you get along the lash line like that okay so just the line and you're gonna do the same thing with the other eye so straight down and up make sure you go all the way down to the lash line and I hope I could do this. <laughs> I put the event for an hour. Hopefully we it doesn't turn off and then I have to come back live with you guys. Hopefully it's enough time. There we go. So hopefully... Allá están también haciendo su maquillaje ahorita. Tengo mis bailarinas ahorita. Uh, varias que están en vivo conmigo porque es primera vez que están aprendiendo maquillaje para, para el grupo folclórico. Entonces les estoy paso por paso explicando cómo quiero el maquillaje para aquí al domingo porque tenemos un ensayo ya con vestuario y todo y maquillaje y peinado. Tienen que saber cómo, cómo maquillarse, maquillarse. So yeah, we have dress rehearsal on Sunday. So I have the girls right now learning step by step how to do their makeup for the first time. Okay, so then we're going to do the dark color. So I'm getting my smaller brush. And we're going to do the color that's all the way at the end. That's the darkest color. And we're going to do that here in the corner and do the same thing. But this time, um, I take it out along the, the line like a um, in an angle. And then I'll go in and go up just to fill in that corner. Okay, so let me, let me get that done here so you guys can see it. And like I said, don't go all the way up. You just come all the way in, in a diagonal out, and then bring it in, okay? And I, the lines look really, um, we haven't blended anything, so know that once we blend it, that's gonna look nice and soft. You just wanna make sure you have the colors in the right place and all the way down to the lash line, okay? And the same thing with the other one. Um, I start in my corner and then come in. Okay, ladies, I hope you guys, I haven't, it's so quiet. <laughs> like I don't see too many, I, I see some comments, but hopefully, hopefully everybody's doing their makeup right now and we are good and I, I hopefully um, I'm explaining it okay. Definitely, if you have a question, Ask me as we're going. Saludos a todos. Uh, those are just joining us. Hi, everybody. Um, okay, it's in process. It's in process. The makeup is in process, but um, I have my dancers learning for the very first time right now, some of them. And I don't know if I have all of them on with me, but I do have some of them. Um, so I'm just showing them how the makeup is. And we haven't blended anything, so we're just making sure we went light, medium, dark, highlight on top and that same highlight in the corner so um we're gonna start blending right now once you have all the colors in and once you have the dark in you can kind of see if you need to you know add add any other color but i like i'm gonna add a little bit of more of the light color in the corner and then just i'll clean up there we go okay so now that we have the three colors okay we have the light also highlighting the top the middle color and the dark i'm gonna go in with that same brush that i did this um this copper and we're gonna add just the, some of the shiny one which is this one right here 
Okay. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a, this one right here, it has glitter. So the one that has glitter, basically you're going to add that one, add it over, over the copper one, just so you get a nice little, little shine over that. Once you're all done, we're going to, that's all going to get spread around uh, over the entire eye. So go ahead and add some of the glittery one down the middle. There we go. Okay, so I added, there we go. So now we're gonna blend, okay? We have three colors plus the shimmery one, and I'm gonna take my blending brush, this is a blending brush I use, and we're gonna go ahead and blend. Um, I like to blend from the corner in. And I gotta, let me look in here. You wanna kind of blend so there's no, there's no line, so everything kind of, you know, it, exactly, it blends into each other, so. There we go. Okay, so I don't know if you could see. This one's blended. Hopefully you could see it. I can't, let me. Not blended, blended. Not blended, blended, okay? So I'm gonna blend the other one. And you just want to make sure there's no like lines because we did go up and down with them. Um, but once you blend, all those colors come together really pretty. And you want to make sure you blend all the way up to, there we go. Okay, so there we go. Blended. Ooh, I, it's really hard to tell. Hopefully you guys can see it good. Um, I just, I wish I had better lighting. I have to invest in a better light <laughs> sorry maybe if i bring it closer to me there we go okay so we did the eyeshadow and just to recap we did the foundation first then we did the pressed powder then we did the eyebrows and we did the primer um if anybody's coming in late um we did the primer after and then we did uh the four colors on the palette okay so now that we have all of that, we're going to do our, I like to do my black liner next. So for the black liner, we're going to have it extend out over here and then all along the lash line. And I'm going to have to look in the mirror for this one um, just to have it done. So um, let me see. We're going to start. Let me see if I can turn my phone here. No. Okay, so we're going to start in the center here and then we're going to we're going to keep it a thin line and it's going to thicken out. And if I move this back, there you go. Um it's going to thicken towards the And you want to stay right fill in everything between the line and the lash line. Okay, so we have like just a basic line. Now I'm going to add the little angle at the end, little tail. Okay, add, I want to extend it out. And then we're gonna, okay, and then we're gonna fill it in and thicken it up in the corner. Okay, so what I did was I went out and hopefully I don't mess up the line. I went corner and then I filled in thick, 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 and then thin on the inside. Okay. And I kind of, uh, I just kind of messed that up a little bit doing that <laughs> on the phone. I really need to practice doing it over here. Okay. But there you go. Hopefully you can see it's thicker in the corner and then it thins out towards in the inside. Okay. There we go. Okay, so that's the black. Um, and that one takes practice too for because for this little corner here and then how you, there's all these little tricks that they have now to do like with the bobby pin and um, all sorts of tricks. So you guys can look up a trick on how to make the little tail at the end of your uh, eye for the eyeliner. And now we're gonna do the other one. Do they all have the same eyeshadow? And also where do you recommend 
getting the eyeshadow palette. Um, yeah, so everybody, and this has been in all the groups that I've done, we've always had the exact same eyeshadow. This is the NYX. It's the ultimate edit. Um, and uh, what I did is I ordered a dozen of them online. Um, I, I And all the basic colors I ordered for all the dancers. So they have like the same lip liner that you'll see later. They have like the same eyeliner that you'll see later too. We're gonna get to that. They have the same eyeshadow palette. And then I made sure that they all had the same lashes, unless they're my my little tiny tot dancers, then they have a smaller lash, but th they all have the same lashes. So yes. Um, and then ordering them online, NYX, you know, has some great deals um, because you can get all this stuff at Target and it costs you the same, but when you order online, usually there's free shipping. And then you can get like 20% off plus 15% off. Um, they have sales. So, all right, we are doing it. All right, nice, nice. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna finish up the other eye, the eyeliner. Like I said, um, different tricks, you know, you figure out what works for you. I start at the center and go out that you guys can do what works for you. Some people like to do the little corner first and you can probably see better me doing this one I'll take it out and then up there's also lots of different kind of eyeliners like I love this one this one's a NYX the super fat and it's been my favorite honestly because I've done the pencil I've done pencils and I don't like them I've done this one I have the ink the ink pots I've done that so that's another option for for eyeliner um, I don't like it. I like this one, like for Dia de los Muertos to do designs and things like that. Um, and then I have like this one. This is the super fine eyeliner, which is the marker as well. Um, but it doesn't give you, you know, you have to be filling in more. So with this one, it's a marker as well. They're both markers. But if you could see the difference in um, the fat marker you get done with faster than having to fill in the, the thicker lines with this one. So I, I really, I really like the fat marker. This is probably like my fifth or sixth one that I've bought. Um, I just keep buying the same one. I, it's honestly, it's my favorite. And plus it's a marker, so you don't have to like sharpen anything or dip. And you know, you just use it like a regular marker. There we go. Okay, so I gotta tell myself not to, not to stress about the details. I am, I do, I stress about the details. But there we go, okay? That's the other eye. So we have both both of the eyeliner eyes, eyeshadow, all that done. Okay, so uh, let's see. Do we come on Sunday with hair and makeup done? Yes, hair and makeup done. All I'm going to be doing is checking. Ooh, see, and I'm already sweating, so this is where this comes in. Where you get your pressed powder and you just kind of, you know. Yeah, hair and makeup done. I will just... I need to see how you do your makeup and your hair and to make sure if I need to make any corrections or tell you, you know, make any adjustments. So it needs to be done to save time too. We have a lot to do on Sunday, a whole lot, whole lot to do. A lot of parents, um, you know, I'm sure you're going to have a lot of questions. We'll be training too for the, all the volunteers. Um, okay, so now your liner. Uh, we have a blue liner. This one, just make sure you have... Um, you know, make sure it's sharpened. And I picked this one because the pencils under your eye, um, the regular pencils, that they, they really, they'll stretch out, you know, your skin and they're really rough, especially for the little girls. So these I found, this is an NYX too, but it's like a super glide. So it's really soft and it glides really well and it doesn't hurt your eyes while you're putting them, putting them on. So I love, um, I love these pencils. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do the, um, the bottom here start at the corner and we're gonna go all the way okay and I like to extend my balloon line uh, along the bottom line of the black so let me do that here here Okay, so if you could see my blue, um, and I'll do the other blue, and then I'll show you guys what I like to do when I'm done with the liner, because I, I like to use a brush over it to make sure it gets in there and it doesn't, um, 
crackle or glide off you know when you sweat or when you're dancing so the adding the brush later um really really helps for it to stay on and to you know in its place so i'm going to do the other eye and like i said extend it right right under the black liner um you know at least to the same the same level and don't be scared i know um a lot of these girls, it's their first time doing makeup, so you're not used to wearing makeup or this kind of makeup, but know that this is this is show makeup or this is stage makeup. So some of the some of the you know, you have to extend it beyond the eye, um, bring the eyebrows a little bit up higher, everything's on a little bit more than you would normally wear because uh, once you're out in the sun or once you're under the stage lights, your your face tends to get washed out. So in pictures it's not going to look you know like if somebody was right up to your face okay so uh don't don't shy away from or uh you know from from putting it on there and extending it and just you know make accentuating everything okay so let's finish the eyeliner we have the rest of the blue okay there we go and you really want to the the blue really pops so don't don't you know don't get crazy with it but you know you could put quite a bit of of blue on there and then i like to use an angle brush and really to set it so i go in and i i just brush along brush along the line and extend it out brushing out just to set it make it smoother softer rather than just like writing in the line you want to soften it up and 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 really uh the brush really see if you can tell uh, that one's just written in per se because it is a pencil versus it's a little softer now i softened this one up with the brush so i don't know if you could tell the difference but i like this eye a whole lot better versus this one so i'm going to soften the other eye up okay and i like to take the angle there, the point in. Okay, so there we go. I went ahead and softened the other line. So we have the two blue lines. And I love the blue. Honestly, I've tried... Um, I've tried lots of colors under the eye, but I've really, I really think the blue looks pretty in pictures and videos. And it really opens up the eye. So one last touch that you know and this is not something that you have to do um it's not it's not in the list of things for makeup but if you have if you have a palette at home that has uh like i have this one and it has just a plain white mat um what i like to do is i i take that same angle brush and i add just in the corner of my eye i'll add some white and what the white does first it opens it opens up that corner of the eye so your your eye doesn't like you know come to a close close it kind of like opens it up a little bit in the corner so like i said another little trick to make your eyes look wider um is, and you you know you know you want to look nice and awake while you're while you're dancing and while you're taking your pictures and people are videoing and applauding so there we go those are my eyes i have the white in the middle the blue the black liner and the four colors up on top like i said i would um i would fix my eyebrows still because like this one's a little crooked but um okay so that's the eyes uh okay so make sure and no questions so we're good okay so hopefully we're ready um if you notice there's no blush on your list there is no blush on your list because um honestly i like the highlighters a lot better than the blush which can do the blush job and i will show you uh, put the lid back on here this is the this is uh, i use a highlighter a highlighter for my f instead of a blush but we use them the same as a blush and i'll put the lid on so you guys can see the color if you see the color it's kind of a like a peach and i love for me for my skin tone i like the peach um, you might want like a pink, you know, depending on your skin tone, but this would be instead of the blush, which um, you need to wear a blush, you know, if, if you prefer a blush, that's fine. But honestly, the, the highlighters are really, and this one broke already, but 
I use my my brush. I use my little brush. I don't like the, like I said, I don't like the big, the big big blush brush. And um, like okay, we take it from here. I like to apply here, this way, and up a little from here out and up a little is how I apply my brush. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna go here right at the apple, apple of my um, my cheeks, my apple cheeks right here. You can feel the bone right there as you're dabbing. Um, and then I like to go out and up a little bit. And I'm kind of weird. I like I like to feel like I told you guys at the beginning when I was putting on my, my foundation, um, I like to put things on my hands. I like to, you know, I'm really, so once I put it on there, um, I use my hands to kind of circular, kind of smooth it out. Cause I don't just to smooth it out. There we go. Kind of just to give you a little glow and to highlight your cheeks. And then I, of course I dab little, 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 and a little just to kind of blend it all in. There we go. So that's the blush, okay? Here, 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 the center. And like I said, I blend everything, add a little bit, just like a little sun-kissed glow. And that's, that's the blush. And for the end, um, I don't ever do, um, these, are, these are the rules for all my dancers. We never wear lipstick and we never wear gloss. Never, ever, ever, because the t transference, even even on a, um, you know, I know there's a lot of really high tech, sophisticated uh, lipsticks now that are non transference, but they dry out your lips and for for performing and smiling for a long period of times. Honestly, um, I've tried so many lipsticks, different kinds, different formulas, and between getting off and on, you know, getting your clothes off and on, your wardrobe, your vestuario. And, and having to, not having to deal with like uh, putting a moisturizer on or having to reapply your lip or anything, the lip liner is the best. Um, so we use, like I said, NYX and we use only a lip liner. So no lip gloss, no lip balm, no lipstick, just straight, nothing on your lips, just the lip liner. So I'm going to line everything out and then, and then just fill in. Okay. And this one is a uh, hot red in, uh, in NYX. Everyone wears the same red. <laughs> so we all have the same red, um, exactly the same red, exactly the same consistency and um, formula and finish. So we don't add any shine after this or any glitter or anything. And this really does, once, it's, once it sets in, It, it you know there's minimal transfer to you know your vestuario obviously you don't rub it up against but i really like the the lip liner you can change your outfit a bunch of times and you know the transference transference is very minimal so okay so that's the complete makeup except for um with the lashes so the lashes you know without the lashes if you take a good look i mean everything's done but you know to give it that extra pop then we use the lashes and i reuse mine a few times up until um you know they get kind of yucky like the shape doesn't hold anymore or you know the, you'll you'll know when it's time to throw them out and what you want to do because when you get them brand new i think i have i have a few new ones here um when you get them brand new they're they're just one particular length so what you want to do is kind of measure them to your eye and you're you'll have to trim them down on the end a little bit depending on you know the size of your eye so don't think like if you have a really little eye that you have to put this lash the way it is you need to trim them i always have to trim i always have to trim my my eyelashes every time i i get a new pack 
how high do we do it? How high do you do what? Um, Athena, I think it's Athena. I'm not, I'm not sure what you're asking, how high you do what? So just let me know and I'll answer you um, because I'm not sure if you're talking about hair or makeup at this point. Okay, so let's do the lashes and then we'll be done. I'll answer whatever questions you have. Okay, so the lashes have long, you'll know which, like there'll be a short side and that's the inside of the eye versus the longer lashes go on the outside and they have that nice little curve okay so the little ones go on the inside of the eye um so that's how you know the the right from the left the blush the blush is uh how high <clears throat> if you see like halfway through your face if you touch right here they have little bones on your face you can feel your little like the high of your 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 cheekbone so you want to go all along you could touch your face right here and you can feel okay like this is or goes in and that's your cheekbone right here so that's where you want to go you want to go here right where your cheeks are if you smile right you see right here these are the apples of your cheek that's where you want to start and you go all the long and you go up a little bit under, um, don't go all the way up here, okay? So just like a little strip of here for your blush. And like I said, you can you can kind of blend it in so you don't see like a line there. You just kind of, okay? So let's see. Um, okay, so now this is the one that I use. There's lots of different um, eye glues. I use, I've been using the Duo for, gosh, <clears throat> since I was in drill team and color guard when I was in junior high and high school and when I coached and had my teams of girls and drill team and tall flags and then when I started dancing folklorico so you're talking like like 30 something years I've been using the duo sorry if I'm talking too much and this one um this one comes out white but it dries clear. So this is the, my personal preference. I've tried the black one that, uh, that dries clear and I don't like it. I've tried the clear um, and I don't like it either because it's really runny. I like the white. I like to see where it goes on, on my, along my black lash. And you just add a little bit and, and um, like this, a little line. And make sure you close it in between each one because they do start to dry out. Um, so I'll do this. I'll add the line and then I'll curve and blow to start drying it. Oops. And you don't want to put it on right away because it's it's really, it's you want it to get kind of tacky a little bit. So you don't have to sit there and hold it for so long. So if you start drying it and you kind of bend it in, to make it easier to apply, to keep that shape. Okay, so about that much. And you can see it's still white. It's gonna be white for a while up until it dries along your lash line. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach it. And you wanna go right, right, and I went on and left the glue there so you can see where I'm gonna put it, right along the lash line, okay? like that and then I like to hold it up as it dries but I have to make sure I push down and make sure it grabs on and then you see that white you don't have to worry about that that's all gonna dry clear okay you don't have to worry about that at all so I love I love this glue and you just have to make sure it does attach to the corner so you wanna and you want it to glue open so I go like this then I have to blink, kind of hold it up. And I just make sure that your corners are down and they're be there because the corners, you know, if you don't attach them the first time, it's really hard to get in there and add glue and get them to glue down. So you want to make sure you're pressing down on the corners as it's drying 
and then I like to come up and hold it to make sure that it's the eyelashes are not going to stay glued pointed down you want them nice and open up so when it dries they're like woo, you know you're you look nice and awake there we go there we go so it's drying it's drying it's drying my corners are down and of course I have um my natural lashes are right under it and tengo tengo the you know tengo pestañas that they have on <laughs> I don't know if you guys know that what that means you know the like the the tahiti the like the the techos the, the roofs that, that point down that's how my lashes are they just point down they don't do anything but you can't tell if I got these lashes on and you have an option I mean if you if you want as you can see you can't even see my lashes under there but some people like to go in with the mascara and they like to uh, go under here with their natural lashes and add some mascara there just to blend everything in. Depends on your lashes, but mine are like, you can barely see them. So there you go. That's one. And we'll go ahead and do the other one really quick so I don't end up with one funky eye. You're like, wait a minute. Is that what we're supposed to look like? Uh, le, que, le falta que se seque más. No, sí, se secan solas. No tiene uno que, que estar ahí esperando. Me puedo poner la otra. Pero solitas se van secando y ya, que, y ya pueden ver que ya lo, de, lo blanco ya, ya no se ve. Porque ya se están secando. Ok. Ah, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Again, the shorter side on the inside. Outside is longer. Ok. And normally, like you can see here, these, I did a TikTok for you guys. And I haven't. I'll just peel them off and add them to the box, but then here's, <laughs> I usually clean these. I take off the old the old glue before I put on the new glue, but I'm not doing that today for right now, but normally I do. I make sure they're, they're nice and um, all the old glue's off. Um, and I don't know, I would say maybe, maybe about like, since I do do quite a bit of videos and stuff, um, I don't know, maybe about six times. I use my lashes and then I toss them out. So again, I added the glue along the line from top to bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and I give them a nice little bend and start drying them. And for those of you guys who are joining, I just remind everybody I'm not an expert. No soy una experta, les quiero recordar. Yo nomás hago el maquillaje que me pongo para bailar, hacer presentaciones y videos. Y quiero que mis bailarinas también se maquillen con los mismos colores, el mismo estilo para que todas se vean bien bonito, todas bien parejitas um, y que se luzcan todas iguales. I want everybody to look beautiful. Nice and uniform. I am a stickler about uniformity, so here we go. We're going to put this one on. And I'll take off the glue, just so you see, that's that's where it's going to go. It's starting to get a little tacky. It's not so runny, so there we go. Corners down, and there we go. You got to be careful, too. Um, you don't want to get the glue in your eyes. It does, it does sting a little bit, especially for the little ones. Um, The good thing is with the, you know, when you have somebody helping you, you your eyes don't have to be open to, to put, do all of this. Okay, so I have the corners down and now I'm gonna kinda hold it up so I can, there we go. Okay. Okay, so there we go. We have both of them. This one's still drying, so you, I don't know if you could see a little bit of white still, but this other one is completely dry. And that's it. That's the makeup. Um, full makeup with lashes. And then you would do your hair. I always do my makeup first, and then I do my hair um, after. That's I mean, that's usually how I, I um, you know, get ready for for any show and everything so 
Uh, for Sunday, do we also need to come with the lashes? No, 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 no. You want to come in everything. Full makeup is this. This is full makeup. So this is what you would be coming in. Lashes are always part of the makeup. Always, always, always always <laughs> so whenever you do a show pictures video whatever it is that we're going to be doing we always have the lashes and you'll see um i wish i could see you guys doing your makeup right now because you would see the difference between having lashes and no lashes it's 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 a bit of a it's it's, it's a big difference okay and you guys need to get used to it so the more we practice putting on all our makeup Putting on the lashes, the easier it's going to get. It is kind of, you know, it is hard at the beginning to get everything. I do admit, I did have, a, like I said, a hard time um, right here. Like I would, I would still adjust my eyebrows. Um, and then once I did my hair, you know, you always want to check um, if there's anything else. Everything looks even um, and, and nice and, you know, just ready for the show. So I missed the beginning. Did you also apply foundation? Yes. So let me go through the steps before I cut, um, before I tune out here. I'll go through everything one more time, but I am going to try to download this whole video. Usually, uh, TikTok lets me, <coughs> I have to wait a little bit, but, but I have no issues with my phone because, um, because of storage and I'll be able to download the whole thing and I'm going to, uh, upload it up to YouTube and then I'll show little clips and stuff uh on instagram and facebook for you guys so the first thing i did was a foundation i'm just gonna go step by step uh to get here was the foundation after the foundation i did the pressed powder and like i said i have i have the bronzing bronzing powder uh, palette but i i only use this one for my face as a pressed powder so you can have a normal normal pressed powder after and that's to set everything all the foundation so that the makeup stays on longer and that also the pressed powder is great for when you do start to sweat or it gets hot you know and you start to bead all you do is um you add some pressed powder to your face kind of to blot everything um in between sets or you know throughout the day you don't have to do foundation again okay so after the pressed powder um what i did was the the um I did my eyebrows um so this is a dark brown and and then i use a brush so if we ever have theater shows you're gonna have if you're a really light brown you're gonna use a dark brown uh, you know during a theater show you're gonna go even darker in the theater uh setting with lights so for me i go black on the eyebrows when i'm gonna do a show um under lights or even TV or anything when we, I've done TV appearances and things like that, I'll do the black because you're still under lights versus the dark brown. Um, and then so after that, I did the um, I did the primer and the primer is under the all the eyeshadow. That's to set the eyeshadow, make the colors more true, kind of like what they are. Because sometimes with our different skin tones and different undertones. The colors you see in the palette are not what you get on your eyes. So in order to kind of help that along so that we get a clean slate, you know, kind of what you, same as an uh, artist, you know, with a canvas, with a blank canvas, we give our eyes that blank canvas and I use the e.l.f. This is like, it used to be $2. I think it's like $3 now at Target, the e.l.f. Uh, primer. And then after the primer, we did, and I'll, in case you missed what colors we used on the eyeshadow. This is the same palette that you have at home. I did the light color as a highlight and inside, and we went and we, um, in case you missed a technique, it was a vertical versus horizontal. So I'm just doing the stripes across the eye eyelid. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I did the light on the inside, and then I did this one right here in the center and then this dark one in the corner. And then over the center one, we did some of the glittery one. Um, and then once you do the vertical lines, you wanna blend everything in from the center, I mean, from the end, I mean, from the outside in, my bad. Make sure you blend all the way up too so that it's not so stark white up on top. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm not used to talking so much. Okay, so then, the eyeshadow after the eyeshadow we did the black liner 
this is where I said I use the big fat um, eyeliner marker. My markers are my favorite, but you can use whatever one works better for you to do the black liner up on top. And then I did the blue liner on the bottom. And I remember I used an, a nice stiff angle brush to blend in the lines so they're not just drawn on, but they're nice and blended in all the way out, okay? Um, then there was the, instead of the blush, the highlighter, which is, this is a peach, peach one that I used on my cheeks and I also just went down the center. Um, you did also miss that I did use foundation and powder down here, blended it all up to the ears and down the neck because <coughs> you we don't want that, that makeup line here on the jaw, jawbone. And then the last thing you do is the lip liner. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully I went out all the steps. This is the glue. This, <coughs> sorry guys. <coughs> yeah, not used to talking so much. Uh, sometimes in my lives I'm dancing too, so that kind of balances it out. Uh, the duo, and I said there's the black glue that goes clear that I've tried. I don't like, but you can try it and see if you like it. There's, there's a clear glue that I've tried and I don't like it either because it's too runny for me, but you might like it. Um, and then I use the white one. I like the white one that dries clear. Um, and there's, this is the duo. There's also the Ardell brand, but um, this one's the one that I've been using for like 30 years. Like I, I, I it's just the one that I like, Perf you know, it's my preference. But like I said, look out for techniques on how to do the corner um, and your eyebrows too. Uh, like I said, I still need to fix these or not quite. I don't have that little angle that I like. Um, so let, okay, let me see if I missed any comments before I head out. Name of glue, please. Okay, so yeah, that was a duo. And you, there's also Ardell. So, but uh, you know, they're, they're practically the same. Uh, I missed the beginning. Okay, so I think, I think we covered everything. Le falta que se seque más. Okay. We talk. I'm just going over the comments to make sure. Bailas hermoso. Ay, gracias, Fernanda. Muchas gracias. <laughs> Espero que todos les toque, les toque ver a todos los bailarines. Uh, voy a tratar de grabar lo más que se pueda este domingo, porque también voy a estar bien ocupada, pero vamos a, voy a tratar de hacer unos videos. Y para el 10 de julio va a haber presentación de Nea Arts, Va a ser la primera en, en Long Beach, en la playa. Vamos a hacer unos videos. Y ya en Knott's Berry Farm vamos a estar oficialmente la primera. La otra no es, es, no es oficial, pero para el 23 de julio, el sábado, vamos a estar en, en Knott's Berry Farm. So, estamos preparando, ¿no? Pa, es, son pasos y, y para, para que se preparen todos. Para, por eso hice este video, para que practiquen su maquillaje y ponerse todo y... y Paso por paso, no? I can, I can practice because it is a lot of work, ladies. Um, I think I got. Yes. All right, guys. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here, and I hope that was helpful. Um, I. The next time I'm on live, guys. Yo sé que muchos están esperando que que me ponga a bailar. Esta vez no, pero la próxima vez a ver si a ver si ya <laughs> ya me pongo a improvisar algo porque la verdad. No han improvisado en mucho tiempo y este pues sí lo extraño y, extra y es extraño estar aquí con ustedes pero ha estado bastante ocupada con todos los preparativos para la boda lo que pasó del baby show y ahorita ya para los shows you should do videos on YouTube and post the steps and the whole dances yeah. <laughs> Uh, I have, we do have a YouTube channel and I, we haven't posted dance videos because this is barely going to be July 10th. It's going to be their first official or non-official show. And so starting then there's going to be videos of them dancing, you know, the full dances. And, um, but there are some videos on there on YouTube. There used to be a lot when I had my other groups and we were doing shows all the time, all the time. So this is just the beginning. This is the next generation and we are just starting. So know that, um, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, you know, just follow the blue deer and the arts and, and that's us. And yeah, you're going to see a whole lot more of us. We have a lot of, 
wonderful shows planned, a lot of uh, things coming up and a lot. I'm going to be busy too, looking for more because, you know, I want to get these dancers out there and, and ex experiencing how wonderful it is to, to be on a stage and to share the beautiful culture that is our culture. So yes, uh, thank you guys. Love you guys. And uh, see you guys next time very soon. I promise very, very soon. You guys take care. Buenas noches a todos.